Welcome to Charts Today, my name is David Linton and today's edition for Monday the 6th of November comes to you from London and we start by looking at the dollar and the dollar index is the basket of currencies of course is actually now just creeping through here on the lagging line for the medium term. Even if we just go sideways for the next few days we will wander out of the cloud. So the dollar is actually looking like it is rebuilding a base here um, so that's uh, still quite encouraging. So dollar still looking bullish in the short term, euro looking weaker again so as the dollar is coming out of the cloud the euro dollar um, is <coughs> now coming below the cloud on the short term chart and we're looking a little bit more bearish here as well and we look at uh, the uh, Japanese yen we see the dollar strength showing through with a uh, chart bullish in all three time frames and sterling we see here fell away quite strongly last week um, on that interest rate announcement and is just sitting really at that 130 level uh, and starting to enter bearish territory here potentially on the medium term chart as well. Uh, against the euro sterling looking a bit stronger this morning but still bearish on the short term against the Swiss franc much the same picture and against the Australian dollar just uh, holding at about the 170 level. To look at the S&P 500 future uh, market, we see that uh, the U.S. stocks were up, uh, sitting at those 20, uh, 2580s area, so uh, looking better there as well. And if we look here at the Nasdaq, again climbing higher. The market's just looking very strong. October, quite often a month of jitters uh, for markets, was the anniversary of the 87 crash. We see it just this October has put us in um, good shape for a continued run in the market. And again, we're still looking bullish in all three time frames on the Dow and on the Russell 2000, a more mixed picture um, <coughs> with US smaller caps running sideways. Uh, the S&P future down very slightly and the Nasdaq E-mini down very slightly, so no real heads up as to which way the market will open today. Uh, FTSE 100 uh, is down this morning, really just struggling at this uh, 7,500 level. We're above it at the moment, but uh, this is a pretty key line of action at the moment. Bullish on all three time frames still, but no clear targets to play for. The, <coughs> the FTSE 250, <coughs> much the same picture. When we look at the DAX, we see here the DAX is looking bullish in all three time frames. This upside target of 8.3% on the short term chart is now activated. Uh, that weaker euro um, helping German stocks. Nikkei looking bullish. Hang Seng is holding bullish above the cloud. Shanghai local market just getting back above the cloud as well. And the Indian market continues to look really strong. Australian market pretty flat. Um, and if we look at Brent crude, we're now at $62.35, so we're into the 60s. Brent looking considerably stronger here. We've got upside targets of 20% uh, on the uh, medium term chart. <coughs> and if we look at um, WTI, we see here as well that we are bullish on all three time frames. Uh, the US NAC gas chart jumped on Friday back above $3, so we're looking stronger here on uh, Henry Hub. But uh, at the moment, uh, we have been very much in this sort of doldrums around this $3 mark. So it's not clearly a chart breakout, but it is good to be back above $3. Copper looking strong still. And if we look at uh, go straight to gold, we see gold fell quite strongly on Friday against the dollar on the um, payrolls numbers. And we say we're bearish in the short term on gold and the medium term chart just struggling to hold on. Silver, much the same picture, of course. Uh, big falls there on Friday, so precious metals didn't have a good a good day. Um, we see uh, U.S. Treasury yields at 2.33 percent on the 10-year, um, with some downside targets here. So uh, for the moment, uh, we are seeing downside potential for uh, Treasuries. Apple holding its strength on Friday, looking strong still, and Google um, looking strong. Amazon continuing to look strong after a pretty strong couple of weeks. And Facebook is just hitting the 180s, but back into the ones to high 170s, but still looking very strong with lots of upside targets. And Microsoft also holding its strength, having uh, jumped the week before last. That's it for today. Until tomorrow, happy charting. See you then.